We continue here on King's pregame live. We're also joined by our good friend, John Montahano Wilson. Montahano. I know, who's going to take us through our buying and selling segment here, John. What do you have for us? Yeah, yeah, well, I got a couple questions for you guys. As far as the Kings future, what you've seen out of them this year and what do you expect out of the next couple of years? So I think we're just gonna dive right into it. The first question I wanna know from you guys, are you buying or selling that the Kings will have three or more future All-Stars that are currently on this roster? Buying or selling that? James, why don't you start us off? Uh, I'm gonna sell. I think they might have two, and they got some guys who can get close to that, but I'm not sure that you quite have three guys on this roster yet that are all-star quality. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna sell as well, but I'm looking at De'Aaron Fox, and I'm thinking that maybe Harry Giles, and kind of like our team, if we get really good, Bogdan Bogdanovich becomes an all-star a la Draymond Green, that type of a scenario. I could see three. So you're so, going Giles before Bogdan right now? Uh, well, I'm saying that his upside is absolutely tremendous. Bogdan reminds me a lot of myself. Like, if you win a lot, a lot, the people who make that happen and keep everything together, they will get the credit as well. All right, just uh, one question. Does the futures game count? <laughs> if it does count, then I do think they will have three. They had well two said. last year. They had three last year. They may have so eight. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So you're buying. They you're had buying. so many. So I, I would go with the futures game. Yes. I'm gonna okay. bail. All right. Next question is about one Buddy Hield. Uh, he's definitely improved as the years going on. Do you guys are you buying or selling that he's gonna make? Uh, he's gonna get six man honors at some point in his career. Well, I'm buying. I think Buddy Hield has that potential. And once you see a lot of these older. Uh, you know, combo guards off the bench go away. The Jamal Crawfords, the, the Williams, these guys are aging. I think he's going to have an opportunity there. What's going to depend is if the Kings are winning 40 plus games. The Kings win 40 plus games and Buddy is delivering like that. He will be holding that six man of the year trophy up, no doubt about it. He'll be holding the t-shirt. This is true too. Uh, Bobby Jackson-ish. Yeah, I was just going to say they got a history of it yeah. with Bobby Jackson. So they've got a tone setter. Uh, same number. If I'm, same number? 24. 24. So then that says it all right there. I think he's the also going to make a three-point shootout at some point in his career. So I'm going to throw that out there, too. He's going to win a three-point shootout yeah. contest? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. At so some I'll give point. you both. He'll win six man and, and win a yeah. three-point shootout. All right, next question. Kings will be fighting for an eight seed next year. Are you guys buying or selling? Coz, why don't you start us off? I'm selling on that one. I still think they're too young. I would like for them to. They would have to make a lot of bold moves in the offseason, which I, I think they're very capable of doing. But they got to climb over a number of teams right now to get to that eighth seed. I'm I'm selling. I'm hard on it. What's the number of wins for the eighth seed right now? 46? Yeah, something like that. I'm, I'm looking at about 40 wins for the Kings. That, that would be the number I'm looking. 41 would be absolutely fantastic. With that being said, I think that puts them at the ninth seed, unfortunately, right now. So you see, think maybe mid-season they could be in the hunt? If they stay at 500, the longer you hang around that 500 mark, the better chance you have. Yeah, I'm with Doug. Uh, I got them more like 36 to 38 wins, depending how the summer goes. So I'm going to sell that. But I think the next year they've got a really legitimate shot, especially with all the cap space they have going to 2019. Okay, one last question. You know, the Kings for years haven't had much of a backcourt in terms of guys that you believe are going to be there for the future. Yeah. They've got three guys right now, Fox, Bogey, and Buddy, who all look pretty good. Are you buying or selling that the Kings backcourt is finally solidified for the future? I'm buying. I'm buying this one. I think no matter what, this is a backcourt we're going to see for the next two or three years. I hope that they all develop and they're that good and that they can solidify that for the next decade. But I'm buying because I do think that that's a group that they're going to go with and I think they're good enough. I'm going to buy as well. I think that this is a group that if if the pieces around them continue to improve, one thing that is big time in this league is shooting. And Bogey and Buddy have that in spades. And when you talk about a leader in De'Aaron Fox, there is not a late game shot that he does not like. Yeah. I will buy, but I will also say I think the Kings are going to continue to bring guys in to yes. make sure everyone stays sharp. I don't think that they say, all right, this three, this group yep. of three is done. I think that selectively they will keep bringing guys in. Yeah. But I think 
this group of three has a chance to be something special for the Kings. And there's a young man named Frank Mason in that mix, too. It's a great call. Yeah. Great call. Great call. All right, guys. You got it. Do, are we yeah, all set? That's it. That's all we got. John Montahano Wilson, everybody. Great job by him Jay tonight. J-Dub. Appreciate you. And that's a heck of a blazer you got there. Thank right you. That's Thank a you. sweet Thank blazer. You. That's yeah. a good cut. Only the best. Only the best. That good color looks good on you. Yeah. You and James are on the team I was, I was trying to one-up Doug. It's all good.